We turn to KCAL 9 reporter Dave Lopez with a look at just how tight the security is for tonight's show. Dave? Well, we're not on the red carpet. We're on the corner of Pico and Figueroa. You can see over my shoulder some of the cars are coming in. Uh, you can't just drive up to Staples on a night like this. I've never covered uh, Grammys before, so I don't know what it was like before, but it is like an armed fortress trying to get anywhere around Staples. Security in and around Staples today, completely tight. No one can get anywhere without the proper credentials. This woman, whose husband wasn't nominated, had the right credentials, or at least that's what she told me. I do this have is a high credential. credential area. I'm okay. Listen, double checking. I'm supposed to be here. My husband is Clarence the Blues Man Turner. Okay. They did not nominate uh, okay. him, but we came anyway. Security was so strict that even the homeless who live in the shade underneath the various Harbor Freeway overpasses couldn't get there. They were gone, and streets were completely blocked off in and around Staples area. Police were everywhere on motorcycles, on bicycles, squad cars, undercover cars, and you couldn't help but notice them everywhere. This is what one man told me. Uh, a lot more police. Uh -huh. I was in line earlier to get a coffee and there were two policemen in front of me and then one guy was from the bomb squad. I don't know what I was saying. Well, I guess they mean business. <laughs> they do. Business indeed. Back here on the corner of Pico and Figueroa, everywhere you went, if you didn't have the right uh, credential, uh, forget about it. Uh, no one. I mean, absolutely no one is going to crash this party tonight. Back to you in the studio.